controversy over sculptures in downtown Greenville. The Wings of the City exhibit is a six-month installation of nine pieces by a world-renowned artist. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell explains why some are upset about the exhibit, while others are rushing to defend it. You've probably seen this sculpture all over your social media feeds, but it's the artist's eight other lifelike sculptures of men that have some people saying they want to keep Greenville rated G. Winged men, some wearing beaked masks, balance on balls in downtown Greenville. I'm fascinated. For some onlookers like Katie Nall, the sculptures inspire. Kind of remind me of some Michelangelo a little bit. The divineness of the veins and his hands and arms and just the way they're sitting, I, it's, it's beautiful. Others are left feeling disturbed. Greenville County Councilman Joe Dill says people from all over the county have complained to him about the wings of the city exhibit. Well, they say that it has nudity and also demonic expression to it. The monumental sculptures were installed around town in April in a partnership between the city and the Hispanic Alliance. A city spokesperson says the response has been overwhelmingly positive. It has been phenomenal. When we even put up the teaser, it was one of the, the, the biggest social media responses we've ever gotten. But not everyone is happy about the artwork. More than 800 people have signed a petition started three weeks ago. It calls on the city and exhibit sponsors to remove eight sculptures of men, calling them unacceptable and saying, quote, we don't want statues of naked men to be part of our daily life. Dill tells 7 News the complaints contributed to Greenville County Council voting against a recommended $7,500 grant to the Hispanic Alliance to promote the exhibit. I'm not an art critic. I don't know. All I know is the pictures that I saw uh, led me to believe it's not something I'd want to put county tax money into. The city stands by the installations, and others have also come to the exhibit's defense, with more than 500 signing a petition to keep the statues, saying the people of Greenville deserve to share art and culture in public places. We've got a nine-member Arts and Public Places Commission. They approve this. City Council approved of this. We had dozens of, of big sponsors, Michelin, BMW, Bank of America. They all signed off. The sculptures are set to move on in October, and that city spokesperson says they're not going anywhere any sooner. In Greenville and Maxwell, 7 News.